in a democracy believe in the rule of law? You keep walking. We in a democracy believe that every child has equal value, whether they come from Yemen, Somalia, Afghanistan. Just give me your signs, and we will silently pray, which is not a demonstration. Tell the Attorney General Eric Holder that he must have forgotten the Fifth Amendment, which is the right to a due process, meaning a judicial process. So we'll be taking the Constitution at 12 noon tomorrow to the Department of Justice, asking them to release the legal memos that provide the justification for the drone strikes, and asking them to guarantee that U.S. citizens will be guaranteed due process, meaning they won't be killed by a drone strike and asking that all citizens around the world have the right to surrender, have the right to a trial, have the right to be accused, have the right to defend themselves. And then on Friday at 3 o'clock, we'll be outside the Pakistani embassy to do a memorial for the innocent victims of the drone strikes. And we will be joined by Pakistani American Student Association. So this will be our week of actions to educate the American people about the innocent deaths through our drone strikes, the violations of international law, the violations of our Constitution, and to call on the American people to demand that our government stop these illegal, immoral, inhumane and counterproductive drone strikes. This is all happening during the time that John Brennan is in the process of being confirmed as the new CIA director. We are opposed to his position as director of the CIA. We find him unfit for this job. We are calling on the senators to reject him. We're also calling on the senators to do their job as oversight. And we understand that our senators don't even have access to the legal memos that provide the justification for these drone wars. How could they possibly be doing their oversight? We think that the CIA, as a non-military organization, should not have drones. We think that the U.S. government should come clean about how many civilian casualties have been caused by the drone strikes. And we actually believe with something that John Brennan said during his testimony, which is that if the U.S. government makes mistakes by killing innocent people, we should acknowledge those mistakes. So far, the U.S. government has only said that a handful of people have been killed while we know that over a thousand civilians have been killed. So we demand that our government come clean and tell us the truth about civilian casualties. We're actually sorry that in the Senate that is supposed to be the people's house, we don't even have the right to speak out. We don't have the right to show this symbolic tombstone for the 200 children killed by drones. We don't have the right to unfurl a banner that said, stop drone killings. Uh, we were told in no uncertain terms if we just unfurled the banner for 10 seconds, we would be arrested. Um, it's very sad when people who want to use their free speech to stop the killing of innocents are arrested while the people in charge of killing the innocents not only go free, but are rewarded for their killing which is what is happening to John Brennan right now. And of course, let's not forget, this policy is all happening under the watch of President Obama. We were outside the White House yesterday to commemorate another Killer Tuesday. 
that happens every single Tuesday, Terror Tuesday they call it. Say democracies do not have kill lists, democracies do not have terror Tuesdays, and constitutional lawyers like President Obama do not play the role of prosecutor, judge, <clears throat> jury, and executioner. So we have a lot of work in front of us to wake up the American public, to demand that Congress do its job, and to pray for those who have lost their lives because of this killer drone campaign that has been masterminded by John Brennan. So we're going up now to the office of Senator Dianne Feinstein. She is the head of the Senate Intelligence Committee that's supposed to be doing the oversight. We will be asking her for public hearings so that we, the public, can learn about this drone program. It's high time, after so many years, that the public has a chance to learn about this program and to ask questions. So we're going to go now to Diane Feinstein's office.